Let's discover the secrets of gemstones at the Sri Lankan Gem Testing Lab. Today we are heading to Beruvala, Sri Lanka, home to one of the most vibrant gem markets in the world. But we are not just here to explore the market. We are diving deeper to see what's inside these precious gemstones. So join us to visit a gem testing lab run by a knowledgeable consultant gemologist. As I entered the lab, the first thing that caught my eye was this stunning display of minerals. Look at this collection. Isn't it amazing? We can't help but want to hold these gems. They are just captivating. Let me pick up a few and show you how they feel. Each stone has a unique texture and weight. It's incredible to think about how these have formed over millions of years. But let's move on to why we are really here. It's a busy day here. And Karen, the consultant gemologist, is hard at testing stones. We are lucky to get some of her time to chat about what goes on this fascinating lab. We are here in CIGS Gem Lab. So I'm here with Karen. She's a consultant gemologist. So today we came to see the lab. So we have never seen a gem lab before. <laughs> <laughs> so Karen, thank you for giving us this opportunity to have a look around your lab. It's my pleasure. Yes, and if you could uh, explain us uh, what you are doing here at yes. this uh, um, So uh, when a gem merchant or a gem buyer, they want uh, confirmation on their gemstone, then they consult a gem testing lab and they come and they want either a verbal confirmation uh, or a certificate for their product. So there we confirm whether the st what the stone is, the authenticity of it, uh, if the stone has undergone any treatments or something like that, and then we issue a certificate. So that is the general uh, basic idea of what a gem testing lab does. And also uh, in case of a consultation, like for a new person, for a person who doesn't know what to buy and how to buy uh, a gemstone, then people like we us. do. <laughs> Sorry, people, that. <laughs> people like us. So people don't know like what to buy, you. We are to buy. Yes. Then also, yes, we do. Uh, you know, guide and uh, so it is more like you know the scientific part of it. Part of it. Okay. Of the gemstone. So in other words, say if I buy a gemstone from somewhere, then I can come and give it to you to be yeah. tested. Yes. Right. So what? What is the process? How do you uh, start it? You just come into my reception, you hand over the stone and you mm -hmm. give us the requirement whether it's a verbal confirmation or report that you want. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, within uh, depending on the uh, availability and all that, depending right. on a few hours time, you can collect the certificate. So roughly, it's a, we can get it uh, back uh, within the day, right? Generally, yes. Yeah. That is uh, what I try to practice most okay. of the time right. within the day. Right. Yeah. So you mentioned about a verbal confirmation and a certificate. Mm -hmm. Are they two different things? Or? Yes. Uh, uh, a verbal confirmation is uh, just a confirmation with a sticker that we paste that uh, contains the weight and the measure, uh, the weight and the variety of the stone. Mm -hmm. So the re a memo card is the next product, which is more like an identity card. Okay. So that will have the weight, measurements, shape, and cut color, and also okay. what it is and if it has gone undergone any treatments. The treatments like okay. that. Right. And a certificate is a full comprehensive report yeah. with the scientific data, physical data, okay. and uh, right. the treatments and all right. that. Okay. So to get a certificate, uh, how long will it take? Is it within the same day you can do that? Uh, if it is not a lot, right. uh, it's generally a, it's, a very it's busy one day. or two. Yeah. If it is not a busy day, like yeah. a market day, then mm. within the day, a few hours. Right. right. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, 
So this is uh, this a is a verbal confirmation. confirmation. So it contains a sticker with uh -huh. our name tag, the way, uh, weight and what the variety is. Okay. So this is a memo card which is like an identity card. Mm -hmm. It has the weight, uh, the physical data, weight measurements, so, shape and cut. And this is a certificate. So um, this has the complete physical data, identification data, and that's a comprehensive report that we issue. Natural condom, greenish blue sapphire. This one here. So then what are the gemstones that are found in Sri Lanka? What sort of gemstones? Uh, we are famous for the Ceylon Blue Sapphire. Ceylon Blue Sapphire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with its colour and all that, that's a world famous stone that uh -huh. we have in okay. our country. Uh -huh. And also we do have the Padmaragas. Padmaraga. Uh, Padmaraga okay. is a combination of the pink and orange mix. Right. So it ranges from lotus, uh, the colour of the lotus flower to the sunset colour. Right. So it's a variety of ranges. Okay. Then also we do have the yellow sapphire, uh -huh. the pink sapphire. The Sri Lankan pink sapphire is very famous because we have a very hot pink color. Uh -huh. So the okay. hot pink uh, color range is famous with Sri Lankan pinks right. as well. Okay. Uh, so those are the main uh, precious, precious uh, stuff, uh, stuff. specimens we have. Okay. Uh -huh. So beyond that we do have tourmaline, garnets, spinners, uh -huh. General ranges like the diopsides okay. and chondropines and, and all that. Sorry to interrupt. And what? do you have any samples that you can see? So, these are a few samples so we can that have a we've some collected. Samples. Yeah, okay. this is uh -huh. a pink sapphire from Sri Lanka. Uh -huh. um, the stone is on the other side. Yes. Okay. So, this is a blue sapphire that we bought from Sri Lanka and it had undergone the heat. Uh, treatment mm -hmm. uh, this thing, uh -huh. heat treatment uh, enhancement and that is also from Sri Lanka. This is a white sapphire that we have done. White sapphire? White sapphire. I never heard of them. White sapphire. White sapphire. And here we have a uh, yellow sapphire. This is from our personal mines mm -hmm. in Okampiti. Sun heated yellow sapphire with the certificate with the memo. So that's one of our pieces. And here are some uh, blue sapphires that uh, I've worked with. There's a violet sapphire and a blue sapphire also, okay. which are unheated and Sri Lankan pieces. Okay. And uh, I think you should put put it back. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, we can't find which is Thank which. Is. And these are also blue sapphires from yeah. Sri Lanka that uh, we've done the whole process here. Right. So it was all heat treated, uh, faceted. So do, do you have any idea about the price of this? Prices, uh, generally when it comes to uh, color stones, there's no uh, price guideline. Mm -hmm. So price uh, generally, you know, it varies depending on your buyers and yours. Right. And, uh, Roughly, if you could give us a rough figure, a range, uh, like a price range. This, I think, my purchasing price was about anyway below fifty thousand. Below fifty thousand. Yeah. Fifty thousand rupees. Fifty thousand rupees. This is a blue sapphire with a special color range called the royal blue. Uh -huh. This was also from Sri Lanka. Uh, it has one point three seven carats. So that comes closer to a range of uh, over hundred thousand. This one. Yes. Okay, so is this good for a ring or? A ring, a, pe a pendant even? A pendant. Yeah, but it will be nice on a ring, I guess. It should, it should be, it should be yeah. nice on a ring. With a few diamonds around yes, it. Yes, yes, <laughs> of course. Blue topaz. These go on to the semi precious range. Blue topaz. This goes on the semi precious semi -precious range. Semi precious range. Is there a particular side for that? Okay. So, can I, before this uh, meeting, uh, you explain me all the form about inclusions. So, can you explain us about the inclusions? Inclusions is uh, simply more like a fingerprint uh, in, within a gemstone. 
Okay. So uh, it is inclusions that gives us a confirmation to whether it is a synthetic or a natural, whether the stone has undergone any treatments. Uh -huh. It is true that the machines do uh, uh -huh. support our decision. Uh -huh. But uh, now, for example, when you say if it's a too clean stone, yes. so there's this, uh, uh, you're not sure whether it's a synthetic or a natural. Right. So, in in meaning of that, it means it has no inclusions in it. Right. The stone is 100% clean stone. Okay. So, uh, f normally, uh, f when it comes to the buying uh, aspect of it and also the selling aspect of it, if it is a loop clean or an eye clean stone, then it is good enough. Uh -huh. So, because most of the stones, the most of the inclusions are only visible through the microscope under high magnification. Okay. Right. So, for me, uh, the beauty of it is the inclusions. Inclusion. Okay. <laughs> so in other words, if there are inclusions, uh, so there is a guarantee about the authenticity of this stone. Definitely, right? yes. yes. So we can we can uh, assure that it's a natural stone. Natural inclusions, then yeah, because yeah. synthetics also uh, import uh, fractures and uh -huh. things like that. Okay. But if it does have a natural uh, inclusion, natu right. natural color zoning, right. then even in the market, mm -hmm. before you bring it into the lab, right. there is a confirmation you can uh, consider it up to a percentage of a natural. I see. But there's no uh, way that you can 100% you can guarantee whether it's a natural stone or artificial it stone. It is always best to uh, take the advice of a consultant geologist uh -huh. and a lab, whatever okay. it is, wherever you are, right. because it they can confirm more than what you see onto the right. naked eye. Right. Okay. So, yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay. So, so, do you have anything uh, to tell us, people like us who do not know much about stones and if you are uh, trying to buy a stone, what do you recommend? What are the things we have to consider uh, before buying a gemstone? Buying a gemstone. Yeah. Uh, generally, uh, when it comes to a colored gemstone also, we say the four C's. Four so C's. Four C's. Okay. Uh -huh. That's a general this thing. Okay. So you check the color. Okay. So for some, for, for, for a person, a particular color may be too dark, but for a another person it might be the best color right. so it is according to your so, liking so the color. color color okay then also you check onto the clarity color whereas clarity. inclusion less inclusions okay. a better right. stone color clarity, clarity. Mm. Uh, then the cut of it whether the cut, cut. is a nice and okay. attractive uh -huh. cut you know perfectly uh -huh. cut color and also cut. the carat weight of it carat so depending weight. on how much weight right. the stone right. is. color clarity cut cut and, and the uh, carrot. Carrot carrot and carrot. also uh, uh, when it comes to gemstone one of the main things is whether it's a rare piece uh -huh. a rare gemstone so okay. we say precious semi-precious yeah. and all that yeah. considering whether the, the specimen is a rare uh, specimen like right, if yes. you have a, a big lot of it mm. then the uh, the pricing and all that is it low goes, because it has more of it. Okay, okay. So rarity, it has to be rare. It has to be. A gemstone right. is a rare, rare. Okay. rarity. Right. And um, so this is a very beautiful industry. It is yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is. And when you say gemstone, it is like uh, a general people when they when you say gold, it is an investment. Mm, yeah. So uh, even diamonds and gemstones are also, also investment. kind of investments. And also it gives you the prestige look. You know when right. you are adorned with it. Right. That social statuses, yes. the yes. investments. So. Uh, so that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah. <laughs> right. And okay. Uh, you were about to say something. No, as I always say, it's one of the best industries to be in, and uh, yes. even it was very nice, you know, to, for you all to come and you know see what yeah. it is and experience yes. this. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we have to thank you for you know giving us this opportunity because it's a busy day, right? I I saw you were very busy, but you give us some time and thank you for that. It's my pleasure. Okay, so uh, I would like to do some more videos in the future with you, maybe about inclusions, maybe about maybe visiting a mine. Who knows? You're most welcome with all. <laughs> okay, okay, Karan. Anyway. Because I'm also looking forward to uh, you know spending more time in the in the oh, industry in the than industry. you know inside right. the lab okay. and all that. Yeah. Right. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming and thank you for picking me to do this video <laughs> and you, giving us you. the opportunity for it. Thank you very much. <laughs>